Hello, welcome to Mowgli TV. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this fireworks text which would be ideal for an EUC party or anything else that you might think it's suitable for. It's for 2025, but obviously if you're watching this in the future, you can easily just change the date to whatever you want. Alternatively, if you can't be bothered or don't have time to go through the tutorial and make your own, you can actually buy the clip in both English and Spanish from Gumroad, link in the description. Let's get into it. So here is the document and this is the clip. Let's just have a look at it. So there you go. And you've got fireworks coming off the text. Once we're finished with this, you'll be able to tweak it to your heart's content to change things slightly or make it look completely different if you saw what. Let's look at how this is put together. So this is the clip over here and it's collapsed all these things. So we've got basically the text animator, we've got sparkles, we've got aquarella and we've got blue. Let's switch them off. So if we just leave the text animator, this is what it's doing. It's expanding so we can see what's happening here. So we've got the text, which you can change to whatever you see fit. I've used the font Grey Vibes, which is available from Google Fonts. The next thing on the settings, the text animator, the color for the text is black. The size you can adjust to whatever you like, whatever you see fit. You can play with the alignment, the positioning, the spacing, that's all up to you. Then we've got the outline color set to white and I've animated the brightness. So if you set your color to HSB and then animate the brightness, I've got it animated to BPM and then one quarter beat and I've applied this digital envelope. If you don't know about envelopes, it's extremely handy. And there you've got like a range of envelopes. I've got some custom ones that I've made, but most of these come default with Resolume. That is the case with digital, which is the square wave here. And basically that just switches the brightness on and off. So it's fully on or fully off. That's quite dramatic, but that will work in conjunction with some of the effects later on to smooth out the brightness. So there's more of a kind of glow effect going on. Then we've got the outline width also animated with a noise envelope here. And uh, I've limited how far this goes. So this bracket here has been moved down a bit. I've got it around like 16, 17%, but that's again up to you. You can tweak all these settings once it's all assembled to your liking. Then we've got animate on, let's switch the animate off, probably should have done this earlier so you see what that is doing without the animate. So that's our text just flickering with the outline brightness. If we open the animate settings, you'll see that I've got just this basic envelope on the opacity and I've got the delay of 2000 milliseconds. What that means is that it will animate happy and then 2000 milliseconds later it will animate 2025 let's switch it on if we just trigger the clip you see it takes two seconds to actually being the 25 inch so it's like a little introduction so trigger it happy 2025 and then they'll just flicker back and forth so if we carry down with this i've animated that opacity to half a beat so it flickers quite fast from one to the other so that's the text animation laid out for you. Let's collapse the text animator. So next thing, we've got Bloom here at the bottom. It's the last effect and it's going to uh, actually enhance everything that goes in between. But let's switch it on so you see how that is already giving it that kind of brightness and that glow that is more akin to pyrotechnics. Next, for fireworks, you're going to use sparkles. Let's switch that on. And as you see, we've got those sparkles that come off our lettering. The texture is set to sparkle. The size is 151. Again, that's up to you. And we've animated the color so we get different color fireworks. If you don't animate it, you can have a fixed color range of fireworks. So you can actually limit the range to keep the fireworks within a particular color palette of your liking. The speed of the sparkles is 1.59. The amount is six. We can bring this up a bit. So there's a few more sparkles. A spread, I've got it on 0.5. The threshold, uh, 108. 
Then we've got move on and show image on. Now to turn our sparkles into fireworks, we use Aquarella. So let's just open Aquarella, switch it on. And there you go. You've got the full effect going. So I've got Aquarella with a blend mode of add. Uh, the opacity is 81%, gain 0.07 speed 14 27 detail zero strength zero density zero gain x zero gain y zero so now we can play with this a bit and adjust it like if uh, you want to have a much brighter thing in the aquarella side of things you can just bring the gain up and it'll go all the way to white or you can bring it a bit further down for more subtle effects Again, if you want more or less fireworks, you can play with the amount. So I've got 10 here, but if we put like, let's say 40, you see that it gets quite extreme. So let's go around maybe 15. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So now if we just trigger off the clip and trigger it on, you can see how it all works together. It will be slightly different every time because of the way the sparkles work and the fact that it's a bit randomized. So don't expect to see exactly the same thing every time you trigger. I mean, that is part of the fun. Beauty of this is that you can adjust it however you want. You can change the animation, you can change the message, change the font. So that's pretty much it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that it sets you off into creating and all of these kind of effects 100% inside of Resolum, which I keep saying is a great tool to create content, not just to present it. As always, please like and subscribe as it does really help my channel. And I've noticed a lot of viewers I get are not regular subscribers, but I'm getting loads of views. If you give me a little like, it'll mean a lot to me. As I've said in the beginning, if you can be bothered making this, I've actually created a clip that I've rendered and it's available from Gumbrel for you to use this New Year's Eve. So, have a happy new year!